Hello, my name is Lilith and I am the creator behind fashion art label Zigenthala based in Melbourne, Australia. Today, I'm going to be telling you how you can paint your own band jacket. I've been painting jackets for a long time now and one of the most popular concepts that I come across in a lot of my clients' work and my own work are jackets that are inspired by bands or musical artists. So they're very good, they're striking, people can identify with band jackets so much more than just normal painted jackets. They're a good feature piece for the closet and they're good for events and gigs. Not that we can do that right now, but maybe you don't exactly have the means to hire an artist such as myself to paint you an amazing jacket. I mean, if you do, you can also inquire through my website. But if you don't have the means, you may be looking at doing it yourself, which is great and awesome, but also can be quite daunting, especially if you're not a seasoned artist or a painter. That's why I'm bringing you this video today to give you five tips on how you can elevate your design and create the best possible band inspired jacket you can create. So uh, sit back, relax, and let me tell you all of the secrets you need to know to create the perfect band jacket. Tip number one, harness logos and symbols affiliated with your band or artist. You don't necessarily have to actually paint the members of a band or an artist to actually create an effective band jacket. You can use very easy things like logos and symbols. Logos are pretty easy. A lot of the different logos could be like uh, Drake's owl logo. You've got star logo for Red Hot Chili Peppers, the face logo of Nirvana. You've got the uh, logo of prints. There are so many different things out there and artists and bands will usually use these logos for things like merch, which can be such simple uh, ideas and designs. So if you aren't very much a seasoned painter, you can actually use this to your advantage because you don't need to be experienced to replicate simple logos. Another thing that you might want to do is look into symbols that aren't necessarily the logo of an artist, but still a symbol that is affiliated with their work or maybe a music video or an album cover they've done. Some of these examples include the uh, black bunny mask that Ariana Grande wore in her Dangerous Woman music video. I know that when people see that, they're instantly like, oh yeah, Ariana Grande. You can use things like, things like the crown used in Rihanna's anti-album. Even just bunching all of the uh, face markings of the four members of KISS. If your band or artist doesn't have a logo, that's fine because there is a symbol out there that would be easy to replicate that you can use to symbolize them in your work. So yeah, if you're an absolute beginner at painting a band jacket or just painting in general, I would definitely recommend using logos or symbols to uh, symbolize your band or artist. Tip number two is choosing a color palette. With a lot of my band jackets, I have definitely thought out a color palette for the, for the design that I'm painting. It's going to be very effective in people being able to recognize what the band or jacket is for or who you're painting it for. Recording artists today use color palettes, especially in their music videos and in their album covers to create art that is recognizable. And you can sort of use this as a strength in your art as well. For instance, I did do a Tame and Parlor band jacket that was inspired by their music video for The Less I Know The Better. And I did actually use a lot of the psychedelic colors which were used in the paint pouring segment of the music video. And I incorporated that into the jacket to sort of package my design and the concept of the jacket up. I didn't really have to mention the name Tame Impala, I just had the colors there. I also had the lyric there as well, but you want something that's gonna be easily recognizable. So if you're looking at something like, say, a Doja Cat music video, say her uh, Juicy music video, it's very brightly colored, it's very fruit themed. So make sure to incorporate that into your design and your artwork so that people can look at that and be like, oh, yeah, it's the aesthetic of her music video. Or even if you look at something like Ariana Grande's God is a Woman, it's a very pastel purple galaxy theme. Ariana Grande already has sort of that trademark of pastel colors. So if you are doing a jacket for her, you definitely want to stick 
to that sort of realm of colors. If you don't actually have a palette that conforms to their music videos or album covers, you may just also want to incorporate some sort of trademark color. And this can be something like the lime green trademark color that Billie Eilish sort of has because of her hair and a lot of the clothes that she wears or going back to Ariana Grande, you'd want to use lots of soft colors, pastel purple, pastel pink, say a band like Kiss, it's very black and white, maybe a little bit of silver there as well. But if you're looking at a band a little bit more extravagant with their color, say uh, Motley Crue, you know, you can be a little bit more adventurous with your colors, big bright colors, but still have that baseline of black in the design. So yes, the color palette I think is very, very, very important. As I said, you don't have to necessarily conform it to a music video or an album cover, but just make sure that you incorporate some sort of trademark color that people are going to look at and be like, okay, yeah, I see what you did there. Tip number three is using words. So we've obviously talked about lots of uh, visual elements so far, things like color palettes, signs, symbols, and logos, but words can definitely be something that you can harness as well. And you can actually use words to create visual effects. See, lyrics can be used as like a filler in your outfit. You can sort of blow up maybe the name of a song and use that as a feature piece on the back of your jacket. I did this with my Tame Impala jacket. Otherwise, you can also use lyrics to create a visual effect. An example of this is I did a David Bowie jumpsuit featuring the lyrics of his songs down one leg. But when I was painting the lyrics, I did it in a way that it would turn into the Union Jack down one leg. So you can actually create images with your lyrics. Another thing you can do is you can just use lyrics as a filler. I did do this for a Queens of the Stone Age jacket where I actually I painted all the lyrics down one of the front panels of the jacket and it's good because it just added a little bit of interest, a little bit of a dimension. You can use words as a background to your feature piece. You can use words going down the sleeve, just like little embellished details in the jacket. So definitely, definitely use them to your advantage. And it doesn't necessarily have to be lyrics as well. Like you can also use quotes from the artist. You could put chord progressions even or stuff like that. That's a little bit out there. But if you're a little bit more versed in music theory and want to have that extra edge, why not do it? But yes, use lyrics to your advantage because even though they are words, you can actually make them work in your favor to create images, colors, and different things like that. Tip number four, this one is a little bit different, but draw inspiration from the outfits worn by your band or artist. We've sort of been focusing more about the artist and the band and what they create, but you can also take inspiration from what they wear, especially if you're painting a jacket inspired by a pop artist or an artist that seems to be well known for their fashion sense or their statement pieces. It's gonna give your jacket a little bit more of a different dimension because you're honoring your artist not only in the way of their music, but also in the way of their fashion sense. So I think that's pretty awesome. I did this with my David Bowie jumpsuit. A lot of the elements of the jumpsuit were actually inspired by outfits that he wore because David Bowie obviously was a very iconic figure in fashion. So I did incorporate elements of his Union Jack jacket made by Alexander McQueen, uh, his uh, blue fire leotard, and then this crazy amazing jumpsuit by a Japanese designer that I cannot think of at the moment. Sorry. Say uh, one of Freddie Mercury's most iconic outfits, you know, the, um, the soldier jacket with the track pants. You can use elements of that, whether that's the, the two red lines that go down his pants or the nice golden buckles on the front of his jacket. Like, don't be afraid to incorporate elements like this. Going back to Kiss, if you want to incorporate lots of white stars, white lightning bolts, lots of like silver lining or just lots of studs. The outfits that Miley Cyrus wore on her bangers tour were very much inspired by Discount Universe. I just found out as well though that those costumes weren't actually made by them, but 
are very strikingly similar but you could use elements like that if you wanted to paint a Miley Cyrus themed jacket uh, going back to Doja Cat and uh, the Juicy Music video, you know, she's got lots of fruit themed outfits on. You could definitely try and incorporate that, whether that's the stripes of the melon or even in her Say So Music video, the glittery butterfly outfit that she wears, like being able to incorporate that. I was watching Super Bass by Nicki Minaj and she wears this amazing like pink bodysuit and even just like the little, the pink design that she had on there, like you could... I don't know, you could paint that design up the sleeves of a jacket. So yeah, don't be afraid to venture from the confines of the artist's music and the artist's art. You know, you can also look at their outfits. And I think a lot of people, especially people that are very fashion forward, would probably very much appreciate that. And tip number five, probably my most advanced tip, and this is tips on how you can actually paint the artist or the band members. And this can be a little bit of an obstacle, especially if you're not versed in how to paint hyper-realistic portraits. But there are lots of different ways that you can get around this. This could be things like painting the artist in cartoon form. I'm sure if you can look online, look on Google, look on Pinterest, there will be so many artists and graphic designers out there that have actually replicated like maybe your artist's portrait but in a more digestible form in that it's an easier thing for you to paint. There are also lots of other ways you can find to paint your artist. You can look at their music videos. Like for instance, Billie Eilish's music video for My Future is completely animated. So that would be easier to replicate a still from that. Also um, Kanye West's Heartless. You obviously know that it's him, but the, the depiction of him in that music video is just a more easier way to paint him rather than trying to hyper-realistically paint his face. There are also album covers that might do this, like the Queens of the Stone Age album cover for Villains. Obviously that is a graphic design, so a little bit more of an easier way to paint the artist rather than actually painting their face. If you're also having trouble with that, you can also just try to look into finding a stencil of the artist that makes them recognizable. That is also very easy as well. There's a lot of fan art that goes around and usually that is in the form of uh, in the medium of a graphic or in the medium of a cartoon and it's much more easier but as well if you want to paint them paint the band and paint the artist like hyper realistically be my guest and that would be amazing but not everyone has that skill so these are just the tips that I'm trying to give to you to make your job easier just as a basic summary to go through everything that I've just said before number one Make sure you harness the power of signs, symbols, and logos. Two, make sure you can find yourself to a color palette or use some sort of trademark color to make your jacket more recognizable. Three, you can harness the power of words, quotes, and lyrics. Four, take inspiration from their outfits. And five, if you really, really, really want to paint the band or the artist, there are lots of different ways to do it. That's through stencils or a more cartoonified version of them or a more simple graphic design depiction of them. Possibilities are endless, but yes. I hope you have fun creating your band jacket. And if you weren't intentionally going to make one, I hope you are inspired now. It can be quite easy. You don't necessarily need to hire an artist like me to do it for you, even though I am here and available. You can do it yourself if you're wanting something a little bit more simple and wanting to challenge yourself in regards to being able to paint on clothing. I did create a video of all of my band inspired jackets on my channel. So if you'd like to see that, definitely click on that because I go through all of the inspiration from all of the different jackets that I've done so far for clients and myself. Otherwise, I will hopefully see you in the next video. I've been talking so much, I need some water.